guys, welcome back to the Captain's Personal Channel. And it's time for a shipment update. Uh, I just got the shipment from Eagle Moss. Uh, the first one since Vegas. A fairly big box. And to be honest, they're usually big boxes. But for the size of this box, and all the Eagle Moss ships that I've got from them, this feels very heavy. So I'm not sure exactly what's in this one. So we're going to open her up and find out. So, I'm always excited when I get Eagle Moss ships, but at the same time I'm like, oh, I don't have any room left. There's so much room just filled with Eagle Moss boxes. First world problems, eh? That's why it was so heavy, it's full of all this. They always put so much of this in. So much. So much. So much. Um, damn. Alright, cool. Well, let's see what we got here. Ooh, first thing we got is the Klingon Raider from Discovery. Uh, it's the one that uh, <coughs> Lorca and Ash escape in. Like a little fighter of sorts. Book there. Ooh, and look at that. It comes actually disassembled. You got to assemble it. There's the main body and then the the spires or the wings. Very delicate. Uh, the first time I saw this was in Vegas. So. Am I excited for this one? Eh. I mean, it's nice looking. It's got a cool, funky design. And as we've said, as I've said with the other Discovery Klingon ships, they're very cool designs. They're very intricate. They're very gothic looking. They're very uh, well designed. They just don't feel Klingon. That's never a good sound. But that is the scimitar. Got the scimitar, guys. Let's see what's broken. Despite, oh, despite, oh, despite all the bubble wrap. It's probably a simple fix. This large section of the back on this side is broken. Ooh, it's broken clean off. Ooh. It's a simple fix for me, but as you can see, there's the peg and the actual slot right there is actually, it's broken off in the slot. So I need to repair this ASAP before I do a review of it, but I, I rarely get Eagle Moss ships broke, uh, uh, arriving broken. A lot of people complain about that. I uh, have been very lucky in that regard. Probably got this is probably my third one that's broken. The first one was the Gorn ship. One of the cells was broken off. And other than that, there was another one. I just can't remember what it is right now. But that's gonna have to be repaired right away. <clears throat> We've got the Excelsior from Star Trek 5 or 6 or VI six. That's the word. I'm so not good with Roman numerals. I don't want to get styrofoam bits everywhere. Um, okay, <laughs> this one is super crunched. Let's take a look at that. And the cells are off. Uh, the one, the pin is bent over on the bottom there, and the top pin is broken. The top pin is actually still in there. And it looks like the whole thing shifted backwards. Shifted backwards in there and broke the styrofoam. It's supposed to be up there, and the styrofoam is supposed to be around it, but it looks like it took a really hard hit and got shifted, and that snapped everything. Whew. Um, again, 
Mm. A super, 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 super simple fix for this one. But it's going to be an Eagle Moth's repair kind of day. So I don't think this one was their fault. It was just a shipping thing. But nonetheless, very impressed with uh, the details on that, which we'll talk about when I do my review, obviously. Ooh, Eagle Moss. I don't have to make a pile of need to be repaired. The need to be repaired pile. Oh, we got the Acura class, the USS Thunderchild, the XL version. Let's see if this is damaged at all. Again, the first time I saw this was also at Vegas. Ooh. A lot of styrofoam bits all over. Um, that's because the styrofoam is broken inside. Again, I think this took a heavy hit from UPS or something. This box. Which I don't appreciate not too much. I think this was a shipping error. This was not an Eagle Moss issue, a quality issue at all. Sorry, just trying to get all the styrofoam off of my hands. First of all, I'll show you the... See, if you look at the box here, this section is, the styrofoam is just snapped. That's why there's so many little pieces of styrofoam everywhere. The ship looks in good shape, except we got a wobbly nacelle. Again, probably from the, uh, the hit that the box took. That's insanity. It's UPS that ships this, guys, so look at that. That's also a super simple, easy fix. They do pack them in nice, like they got good styrofoam in these Eagle Moss boxes. Maybe it was Ace Ventura that was delivering that package, I don't know. Whew. And lastly, this one shouldn't be damaged because it's a pretty sturdy little model. The Runabout. The XL Runabout. But again, let's take a look. Ah, I just figured out why the box is so heavy. We'll see in a second. Yeah, this one's perfectly fine. Nice sturdy model. You got the Runabout there. The XL Runabout is actually really, really, really nice. This is a great model. No damage, nothing loose, styrofoam all looks good. So there's that at least. Okay, okay. Um, that goes on the non-broken pile. I got a book for the runabout. That's it. But what was really adding to the weight here was the Star Trek The Next Generation U.S. Enterprise D book. The illustrated handbook from Eagle Moss. Obviously from Eagle Moss. We've also got the Klingon fleet. And lastly, designing starships the Kelvin timeline. I'm pretty sure I have this one already. Um, We'll see. I gotta go check my books upstairs and see if I have this. I'm pretty sure I have this one. And that's it for the box, guys. So that's the Eagle Moss shipment for what month are we in? We just started September. September. Uh, so some good ones to look forward to. I have to go downstairs now and do some repairs. I'm gonna be repairing starships today, but that's all right. So. Thank you, Eagle Moss. Um, I'm pretty sure none of this was your problem, uh, your issue, uh, with the damaged ships, just because of the way that the styrofoam was in the boxes. So, UPS, if you work for UPS, get your shit together.
if you're out there and you work for UPS, make sure they know this. Um, I know people complain about Eagle Moss ships coming broken, but a lot of time it is kind of design-wise or just something wasn't glued on properly. So there is there are issues with Eagle Moss as well, don't get me wrong. But this, this time, you saw the damage. You saw uh, the actual damage to the styrofoam, the containers that are meant to protect the ships. So it means you just got hit really hard with something, I think, and shifted the entire box. Despite all the... the the air wrapped paper wrap stuff, these things, which I get tons of. Okay. Um, so I gotta deflate all these, I gotta go fix these ships. But uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to the Trek Yards channel for the Eagle Moss reviews uh, and whatnot every Friday at 12 o'clock. Might not be every Friday, I've missed a few Fridays this summer just because I've been busy. But uh, once the crappier weather comes, I think, back to standard operating procedure every Friday at 12 o'clock. And don't forget my captain's logs on the, this channel, the Captain Floyd personal channel, they're at 8, 8 a.m. on Fridays. On the Trek Yards channel, they're at 9. So, uh, and I'm not, I'm, I am re-uploading all of my old Eagle Moss reviews to the Captain Foley personal channel. I just haven't been re-uploading uh, this, like I said, this last couple months because I've been super busy. So stay tuned for more re-uploads and stuff to this channel. If you've missed any of that are on the Trek Yards channel, they'll be re-uploaded here. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being supporters. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe to both channels and check out other videos by me as well. So talk to you soon. Bye-bye.